Alright there folks, and welcome back to Space Haven. We finally finished our ship, well we didn't finish it, but we have a working ship and we jumped into a new uh, system. So, in this system we have some carbon to mine, we have some Hyperium to mine, which is going to give us some good hyperdrive fuel, and we have yet another derelict to adventure. On. So first, we're going to mine up what we can mine up. It looks like we're running a little bit low on power. So once we have the needed resources, we might rearrange this and throw in a bigger power generator as, yeah, uh, low power is never a good thing. Alright, and it looks like we're making good progress already decent amount of those have been mined up. That has not. And one other thing we can do is plan out where we're going to put the other hyperdrive and kind of plan out what we're going to do with this. So let's go to the system, grab another hyperdrive. Um, if we put this here, we're going to have to move um, our manufacturing area. However, what we could do actually is just sketch out a little bit and maybe add a little pod in on each side and uh, extend it out so we can put our engines inside those pods. So right now let's um, maybe out about four tiles and it should be about Six, um, six ought to be enough. I believe that's exactly the width. Or an interior width of four is what we're looking for. Yep, so that's four. Okay, so yeah, that would actually be perfect. We'd be able to place our uh, hyperdrive there. I'm going to build one hyperdrive here. Uh, we will remove this, extend the hull, and then uh, build the hyperdrive once the hull is extended. So, actually, I think what I'm going to do is we can activate our sketch. I believe we have hull blocks. Yes, we do have 15 hull blocks, which is more than enough for what we're doing. And, alright, it looks like all the hy uh, Hyperium has been mined and just the carbon, so that's almost done. Once the carbon is mined, we are going to take a look at the derelict. And one thing that I am really hoping that we find in one of these derelicts is another crew member in cryosleep. You can find them, they're extremely rare, but uh, that's one of the ways to obtain new crew members. The other way is to uh, have a prison and uh, capture people, whether they be pirates or maybe declaring war on another faction. However, we are in no position to do that right now. At least, not anytime soon. We need to have some weapons, shielding, and so on before we can uh, have an all-out war with another faction, whether that be pirates or otherwise. I believe we actually have enough stuff right now to create another hyperdrive. Yeah, we have everything that we need, so I'm actually going to place this in here. I'm going to dismantle this. And then extend the hull. So that's, I believe, four. So let's sketch. That's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. All right. And that will be exactly big enough to uh, make that symmetrical and all pretty and whatnot. All right, let's take a look. Is that almost done mining? Okay, that is done. So I'm probably going to let them sleep. And then we're going... Actually, you know what? Sleep is for the weak. So... Let's draft all these guys, and we'll take them on an adventure, and then after the adventure, they can go to bed. Wait, does Jet uh, have a gun? Oh, he has a gun. It just didn't look like it. 
All right, let's dock this over here. Oh, it's heading on over. Okay, and we're ready to take a look and see what's in here. So far, nothing special, just a really sparse bedroom. Some crates lying on the ground in an empty hallway. And in this first... Ooh, looks like we have some... Uh, I don't know. Either those are credits. Yep, those are credits. Sometimes we have data logs. Yep, there's a new data log we can read. The data logs basically tell you the story of either the ship or the campaign if you read it, all of the logs in their entirety. Looks like Katniss shit herself. Um, that is no joke. Uh, let's take a look at Katniss and her status. Um, spacesuit fatigue. Uh, you could definitely say that. Major discomfort. That's what that little poop symbol is. Generally means that they uh, had a little accident in their spacesuit. Alright, looks like they have a power generator that we could definitely use. Unfortunately, when they break down, they don't we we don't actually get uh, everything. We just get scrap. But this will be a nice ship to break down. There's lots of stuff that we can definitely use. Alright, I don't think this one's going to have a cryosleep casket with someone sleeping inside, unfortunately. Yep, we explored the whole ship and nothing to be found. Alright, well, we'll undraft them and let them go home. In the meantime, we can read. Uh, this is what the apocalypse or the call me crazy... The We Come in Peace. All right, well, let's select everything, transfer it over, and also salvage everything. We'll read the data log in just a moment. In fact, I'll probably just uh, let you guys pause the screen if you would like to read it. So here we have the Call Me Crazy. Uh, basically, what this is going to be saying is... Um, I believe there is some sort of cataclysmic event. Uh, the Earth is no longer a viable place to live, and people have gone to the stars, essentially. Um, and we can gather all of these, and then we can read them all. But uh, you can pause the screen if you'd like to read them. And then we have the Apocalypse. And there you go. Otherwise, you can actually buy the game, play it, and uh, explore the the plot line for yourself. Looks like everybody's well and truly ready to go to bed. All right, let's take a look at power. Uh, do we actually have power? Yes, this has power, although it might be lacking some. I think it's enough to run. Hmm. I would rather not have to break down this power generator quite yet, because... Unfortunately, if we do that... We're going to be using up almost all of our tech blocks. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a capacitor so when we're not using the machinery, uh, it will charge up the capacitor. And when we are using the machinery, it can discharge the capacitor and prevent the power loss that we were having. It's a cheaper way of basically addressing the same problem. There we go. And that will charge up over time. Let's zoom out and take a look, and yeah, everybody is over here doing stuff. I'm actually going to expedite this to get this done as soon as possible. Looks like we're going to have another ship coming in. 
that we will be able to trade with. It is not a pirate. It's going to be the military alliance. Hopefully they have some good stuff, and hopefully we have some stuff that they want so we can get what we need. Maybe they'll even want some human meat. And that's something that I do tend to like to sell right away, just, in, just to ensure that we don't accidentally cook it. Alright, this is going to be a little bit big for our bridge. So I'm going to probably section this off and right in this area and turn this into maybe a hospital bay. Alright, let's do some trade. They have some stuff that we might want. The energy blocks are useful. And what do we have a lot of that we could sell? We actually have a decent amount of hull blocks, which we don't need right now. So we'll sell about 10 of those. We're going to get plenty of scrap from the uh, derelicts too, so we can... We can part with some of them without any issue. Alright. Looks like they don't have any gold. Alright, we're going to basically be um, giving up 55 gold, but 6 of these energy blocks is a, a good trade, I would think. Alright. Let's also activate the sketch we had so that when our uh, characters have some time, they can finish building this. There we go. And hopefully we'll have another engine. It looks like we are a little bit overweight right now. If we throw in another engine, that will get rid of our weight problem. It looks like we are out of ice blocks, but we do have some water left. We should actually check to make sure I didn't s remember seeing. Yes, they do have water for sale, so I'm actually going to buy all their water. In exchange for, well, let's see here, some carbon. We don't need all of that. And there's a pretty big difference there, so maybe we'll throw in a meal. Okay, we won't throw in a meal. Actually, can we? All right, let's throw in a meal. All right, how's the ship looking? Well, they've got a lot of stuff broken down. However, there's still plenty of stuff to do. Let's actually take a look here. This ship isn't too terribly potent. If we had two guns and a shield, we actually might be able to take it. But, as it stands right now, we have absolutely nothing. Alright, I think I'm going to join back with you guys once this ship is entirely broken down. And then we can uh, continue on. Alright, well we have just about everything broken down. They just have to gather up a little bits and bobs before we continue. However, one thing I noticed is that we are almost out of storage capacity. So we should definitely look at addressing that because they won't be able to get everything that has been broken down in that derelict inside of the ship. So, let's look at our storage. Get another large storage. Um, where shall we place it? Can we place it around here? Let's place it over there. I like placing it pretty close to the doors, if at all possible. And especially uh, in our production areas, because that uh, shortens the time it takes for people to transport transport uh, boxes between uh, stations. Also, I did the math. It looks like we're going to need about 18 more tech blocks before we are self-sufficient. So we need to find another 10. So long as uh, we don't burn through our tech blocks doing stupid things like uh, building guns and whatnot. And I did take into account these two tech blocks, which we're going to make for the engine. So, as far as uh, tech blocks, we're going to need, if we look at our resources, we're going to want three for the refinery, two for the cell fuser, so that's five, plus another three for the electronics fabricator, so that'll be eight, and then another three for the optronics fabricator. So... What was that? That was 8, so that's 11, and then another 2, so that's 15. However, we are also probably going to want the 3 for the energy refinery so we can make our own um, 
fuel. So that'll bring us up to 18. And we have 6 right now. And that means we need 12 more. We don't need to be building an item fabricator probably anytime soon because a lot of times we can get guns by, well, destroying a pirate ship and then after all the pirates have either died or we capture all the pirates, we can just loot their guns. We'll probably have an excess of guns in the near future, so there's no reason to get that. Also, we do not need a micro weaver because uh, we get a lot of our fabric and soft blocks from the recycler and from derelict so there's no need to get that anytime soon either and if you're wondering why we need all of this for the tech blocks well look at the advanced assembler uh, that is what makes the tech blocks and to make the tech blocks we need an infra block and these uh, blue blocks called optronics components and for that you need uh, you need the uh, electronics components and chemicals. We can get electronics components by breaking down electronics scrap. However, that is not always a renewable resource, so uh, we will need the electronics fabricator, which just takes raw resources and makes that. And uh, we will likely want a cell fuser as well, um, just because we're going to want energy blocks. And then for the chemicals, well, this is how you get it, is with a chemical refinery. So that's why you need all of that to get to the final tech blocks. Once we have all that, we can be self-sufficient, and all we need to do is mine for uh, minerals. We don't even really need to be uh, looking at the derelicts. We will still look at derelicts because they sometimes have valuable things like crew members, and they can be fun to raid. But other than that, there's really no reason to be breaking down and uh, scrapping an entire ship once we have our self-sufficiency going on. Also, it looks like we can throw in another power node here. I'm really surprised that this isn't completely reached, but anyhow, once uh, they're done sleeping, we're going to build the power node. Hook that up, and we'll be off to the next system, to the next planet. Oh, looks like they're just about to build it. There we go. And let's link that up. And there we go. Ooh, looks like we have another fire. Are you starting stuff on fire again? Are you just standing there putting it out? Okay, he put it out. And one thing you have to worry about with fires is it creates smoke. There's just a little bit of smoke because he put it out right away. And sometimes you can even get poisonous gases or hazardous gases from it, but uh, luckily that was put out right away. And this is a relatively big room. However, someone still did decide to put their spacesuit on. Anyhow, I think it's about time we jump to the next planet or whatever. Maybe it's an asteroid. Who knows? All right, let's get ready to jump. So, we went from there to there. Actually, no, I'm sorry, we were here. Now we went there. We can go to here now. It has all sorts of resources. Actually, no. Were we there? I don't remember. Let's take a look at this. See if this looks familiar. Deploy right there. Yep, okay. We're gonna just jump again. I guess I uh, was mistaken. Alright, we're gonna jump back here. And to here. This is gonna have a derelict, some uh, 
metal, and some stuff for making energy rods. Ooh, this one has two derelicts. All right, well, I think that'll be it for this episode's ne next episode. We're going to be mining and exploring two derelicts, one of which is actually fairly large. This one's a little bit smaller, so don't expect much in there. But here, we can definitely find some goodies. So that'll be it for this episode. I'll catch you folks next time.